karibu tujifunze website programming kwa kutumia Django framework na Python programming language. Kutengeneza driven web application yenye dynamic contents. Hii ni episode number 3. Tajifunza namna kutengeneza HTML pages pamoja na kusifanyia routine. Na dhumuni ya episode hii number 3 ya kwanza kabisa tutengeneza HTML page kisha tutasifanyia routing hizo HTML pages. Lakini kwenye episode number 2 tujifunza namna ku download bootstrap material design na namna ku include hiyo bootstrap directory kwenye project ya Django. Namba mbili ni kuitumia library kwenye pages za HTML. Of course tulitumia katika page moja ya base. Page ya base ambayo ni kama reference. Tukaona namna ku display image kutoka katika static directory kwa kutumia Jinja. Lakini tuliona namna ya kutengeneza base HTML page ambayo tulisema ile content zake zibadiliki inakuwa na header, inakuwa na footer, inakuwa na navigation links. Inaitwa base.html. Na base.html hatujaifanyia routing kwa sababu yenyewe ipo static. Episode number 1 tulishajifunza kutengeneza project na kutengeneza templates ku register hapo, kufanya routing ya page ya HTML ile ya kwanza kabisa na namna request inapokuwa inatumwa. Sasa tuone episode hii number 3 tunaweza html page zaidi ya moja na kuzilink mtu akibonyeza hapa aende hapa bwana kuzilink zile page so kuzilink tunatumia routing ya urls.py urls.py ipo kwenye application project so ngoja katika project yetu tulikuwa tumeishia kwenye kipindi hiki of course kwenye video tutorial iliyotangulia tuliona nani na ku just kuweka hizi uh, links ya kutoa image wewe katika start. So naweza katika template nita expand template then nita right click nita ch chagua new file. Hapa nitaandika heroes.html hiyo itakuwa ni page ya kwanza. Then nita right click again tutengeneza new file about us.html another one will be announcements new file announcements announcements.html the last one will be for example causes.html uh, uh, final ya mwisho kabisa itakuwa ni online application application dot html yes is not okay now shotengeza page za html kama hizo utakuja katika views of course views file la views dot py ni lipo katika project ya app one of course now no longer hii name haitajiki hapa kwa sasa ilikuwa ni ya kwenye episode number one kuonyesha namna ambavyo unaweza ka pass object katika function. So na just ku copy function kama ilivyo yote na duplicate chini just copy. Uh, na duplicate kama hivi. Of course yes na. Okay now. So ya hii ita return page inaitwa heroes.html. Kwa hapa na just kuandika heroes errors of course spelling zake nadhani ndio hivyo sijui hapa itakuwa ina return page inaitwa heroes.html so just ni copy just ni return home dot heroes heroes.html as well nikija katika hii ita return about.html so just hapa naandika hii function yangu inaitwa about then it reason uh, request zeni ni tai direct your request kwenye about.html. Inaofuata ni announcements so of course spelling nimekosea uh, announcements. So yes yes ni hivi name. Uh, of course ni spelling zake ndio hivi. Okay. So hapa uh, ni announcement of course ni hii hapa. So hapa na ile name hii inakuwa ni announcements so toa your home announcements request ta return 
announcements.html Nafata na kwa ni causes If cause ni hii causes So hii function ni taitua causes Causes Na ita return page ya html Inaitua causes.html Inaitua causes.html Inafata inakuwa ni Application Application So just ya pandika application application again it returns the html page in it application.html baada kutengeneza page hivyo hizi uh, sorry baada kutengeneza functions hizo uh, itakuja katika url ya project sorry ya uh, ili kwani ya project so na cancel url ya app ili ya mara kwanza return home Um, so ilikuwa ni home ndio maana uliyokuta hapa ni empty hii empty maana hiyo ni home page path ya pili na register yenyewe ita return what about kwa hapa about underscore us then kwa sababu nimesha import view kwenye view kuna function inaitwa about ambayo kama unakumbuka nimesha tengeneza hii hapa Uh, yapa, just about so uja hapa kwenye url na view na tumia dot palette to access your function inaitua about name taka kutumia kwenye url inaitua about just indica to about ok yu ni register path yu path yu nofata itakuwa ni path kwa jiri ya heroes heroes so yu ni url test heroes uh, then itakuja hapa tutasema tu name ni heroes yes ni copy ya juu hii path yes ni key paste yes weka comma ni key paste yapo yes sa hivi ita return uh, yes ni heroes tayari about tayari announcements and so itakuja hapa a url So it ita return announcements So just ni anjiki announcements Function Hata ni ki press control Ni kaishikilia ni kapleka kasa ni kaiklik Ita nilita kwa unii function Ndwa nda pofanya reference yako Kwenye view Kwenye zili function yamba zili stingineza So na wapa Announcements And then yapa just ni anjiki to your announcements Then Inofata na kwa ni Causes ya mwisho ni application Itakuja hapa Is indent Kufanya indent ni kitu cha muhimu So So ni kikopi hizi ya juu Ya po So hii manake ita return Function ito application Ya po So name tuipe Online Underscore Application The name will be application Of course kuna page nyingine Hina itua about heroes About Koni moja mbili tatu nne tano Moja mbili tatu nne o Kuna moja tumesau Tumesau page ya heroes Ok So that's ni copy Kwa jili ya ku Return heroes So now Hapa will be Heroes and of course heroes ni hii ok sore hapa ikigori kwa sako badilisha heroes ipo hapo yes ni paru moja about heroes announcement application about heroes announcement causes of course so causes ili kwa badu so just ya bana nike causes So, takuja hapa, just title programs Kwa nisha 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 the same The same name, sorry Yes, the same name is causes Causes and the request will be causes So, step in ufata sasa ni kuzilink hizi page katika base.html Yuhu kabisa hapa, ya kuzilink So, home 
na yeka ya ginger of course ni hivi na sana zinakuwa ni na hapa naweka hizi percentage so hapa tuna url url itakuwa ni home uh, yes home atabakia hapo hapo kwenye page ya home na hapa href url na copy the same kama inavyoonekana hapa katika url announcements so just ni copy nije kwenye base yes ni yake hapo nije kwenye base taandika announcements kwenye heroes yes kwenye h r i -E f kwenye hyperlink ita just kuiandika heroes kama inavyoonekana hapo na ni case sensitive hiyo ni case sensitive uh, kama imeandikwa alafu ndogo andike kwa alafu ndogo imeandikwa alafu kubwa andike kwa alafu kubwa ukichanganya utakutana na errors uh, so hii ni heroes causes of course ni small later ukichanganya uh, ipenye sana just na kwa kama variable so maana hapa nitaandika causes about ni very simple ilikana yenyewe about uh, just in about Okay now, applique, eh, sorry, ni small eta. Application, not sorry, si hapa, ni just kui paste maala wa sipo. Ni natakwa ni paste hapa. Hapa, kwenye, hapa ini. So hapa, nitaandika tu about. Okay. So, ili online application, ilikuwa na button, hapa, yes, nitaandika applications. Of course, ni kwa siya yeka, somewhere. Kuneja ni copy, kwenye URL, ni copy application nitakuja kwenye base tai paste hapa application save changes tunaoja katika page ya hapa sasa na refresh fresh so na una start na bonyeza home nime return hapa hapa announcements unaona ni empty ina chochote na uli back heroes page ipo empty Kwa hivyo ingleta kwenye address ya hapa, naona address zina change So now nipo kwenye heroes Ni QD back Nipo za causes Nipo kwenye causes Nipo kwenye za about Nipo kwenye online application Sa hivyo about ima ikuja kima kosa Link ito mezeka kima kosa So now just nisi check hapa About 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 itakua return about so you just link in a copy about the query return about application online application uh, online application ni mnaki nikibunyeza hapa online application of course inasema imeleta kwenye about us ok in online application application ok sorry so hapa nataka somiki application kama inakonekana hapa yes ni copy yes of course hapa nazani ni posa hii so hapa nikuja kuhi fresh application now nimekuja kwenye path ya application hizi zinazonekana hapa ndo zile path then hicho na chonekana hapo bada hii ip address bada ip address hile forward slash ina yonekana ni zile path ambazo zipo kwenye URL. Path zenye is about us, heroes ndo zaka zonekana. Zii zi name ambazo tumezikoru hapa is names ndo tumezikoru hapa kwenye URL. Okay now, so now tupo katika position sasa ya kuzifanya rendering page zetu. So ndo kwenye katika home, where is home, hii hapa. Nita copy extend base nita load static nita copy chikipande ya zoe nita kikopi, nita kipesti kwenye page zote so now let's close all zeni nianza na about nita kipesti hapa sema hii my name is nita itoa hii aswala hii nita itoa hii itakuwa ni just h3 class text primal zeni style equal to Text 
align equal to center or namna hii then mt margin top equal to 3 margin top alafu hii itakuwa inaitwa ni about about us the copy the same code unajua ku paste kwenye announcements na badilisha hapa na andika announcements uh, na kuja kuichukua application hapa na andika just to online application na kuja kuichukua ya basic tayari courses na chukua tu offered in courses uh, courses na kuja kuichukua ya heroes hapa uh, inakuwa ni our uh, heroes so niki save changes now nikija katika <coughs> page yangu hapo nime refresh nikimweza announcements unaona nipo kwenye announcements content za hapa ndizo zitakuwa zina change lakini hizi za juu ni base hazibadiliki kwa sababu hii ni footer hizo za juu ni headings pamoja na navigation manual hazitaki kubadilika nikibonyeza heroes itabadilika hapa kwa heroes na kwenye address bar hapa itabadilika itakuwa hii niingia kwenye heroes kwa hapa ni heroes na huku ni heroes nikibonyeza courses naona mimi badilika mimi kwa courses lakini na hapa imeandikwa offered courses kwa hiyo courses zitakuja change nikibonyeza about kwenye address imebadilika imefunika about us na hapa imebadilika imefunika about us so content zinabadilikia ndani ya block content ya base lakini footer na headings na navigation menu ya juu zinakuwa stuck zinabadilika zinakuwa zimebaki kwa nini kwa sababu zipo kwenye base Okay, so ni baki katika home home ni hii hapa unaona kama tuli print each okay, kija kwenye announcements atuku print each kitu kama hicho unaona kwa hiyo na announcements heroes heroes courses uh, about us kwa hiyo tuje kwenye home kinachofuata katika home ni kuweka hii hapa kuonyesha best student uh, best student atakuwa ni huyu for example kuonyesha kozi ambazo tuna offer kwenye college yetu eh, kuonyesha na announcements mbalimbali hizi announcements ziko kwenye pdf niki click view all kwa sababu page sijairan hii project uh, kuna error so niki click link hapo na itakuwa ni download hii ni pdf msema hizi data zote za leo ni moja kwa hivyo of course um, yeah, of course project yetu ni okay now so ni lakuja kwenye home.html well as well mbona hii uh, home so hizi ndazo close zote the close all tuje kwenye home.html yeah kwenye home hapo just teach kipande na kitoa naandika div class uh, class equal to container and then course ndani ya container naandika div class equal to row by then it across nachofuata ndani ya row nitaandika div class equal to column call of course uh, md4 column uh, medium a4 then it across so hapa ataka best student uh, so na copy column md hapa kwenye row nitenganishe hichi ile hivi just a copy ili aje kuipaste hapa chini hapa zitaka courses tunazo offer ambazo zitakuwa na registered mini za courses kule hapa zitaka PDF ambazo zimekuwa uploaded kama matangazo announcements. Kozi kama sije kwa sasa spelling zake announcements. Yeah, 
then save changes then you refresh the page taona inatokea hii best student courses na announcement so kama kwenye bootstrap ndio kwenye components and then navigate cards chukua card hii hapa show code copy ndio kwenye best student hapa na i paste tayari kwenye courses hapa ndio kwenye bootstrap ndio kwenye hii hapo course and then ndio ichukue hii hapa flash show code copy ndio katika project hapa kwenye courses hii kwa nimeonyesha tu pale lakini na paste ile ambayo nime fahamu na hii kwenye announcements ndio kwenye list groups of course hapo kwenye components tunaweza list groups by then ndio ichukue list group hii hapa oh ina ya chini show code then code then uh, ndio kwenye visual studio code futa hii weka hii hapa so now niki save changes namna hii futa kwenye home inaonekana hivi kwa hapa utaweka zile kozi zetu ambazo kwenye project ndio hizi kama unavyoziona hizi eh? na hapa ni matangazo yale ambayo yanatumwa kila siku na huyu ni best student ukikik okay, view au utaenda kuona wote of course ulishaiona hiyo so na unaona sasa hivi iko kaa kidogo ikaribiana sana hapa na hii so ndakuja katika kodi nitaweka margin top kwenye container div class container ambayo imebeba zote container ndandika empty minus 3 yani maana yake margin top 3 ili ache space kutoka juu utaona nisogea chini kidogo okay now so uh, kwenye video tutulio nafata tutaweza kuanza data this part sababu hizi content zina lazima zitoke kwenye model na hiyo model atakuwa na register system and name so kwenye video na mfasa tutakuja kwa so kwa sasa ukibonyeza announcements kumbuka hichi kipande kina run katika home so kwenye base so ungebenza announcements nitawama ni maana sioni tena ila hizi za juu ambazo kwenye base zime stack kuja kwenye heroes hero ila ngoja kwenye home ndo naipata ile page ambayo ni kwa nini sababu hizi content zipo ndani ya home peke yake Yes. So kwenye video inafuata tutakuja kuona namna ya kuanza sasa kucheza na database management system tutatumia database ya MySQL.